Hello everyone. Today we're doing something exciting with yam and we will be making a mashed and stuffed yam patty filled with uh, pulled beef. Now you probably had yam your regular way and this is just a recipe to add some spice to your yam life. So let's start cooking. So the first thing to do is to peel and cut your yam into pieces and then cook them until they are done. Um, once the water comes to a boil, you can salt your yam slightly and then keep cooking until they are done. While we wait for our yam to be done, we're going to be toasting our spices. So our mustard seeds and our coriander seeds are going to be toasted in the pan a bit just to bring out some of the flavor before we actually go and crush that. So you don't want to keep them on for too long. Once they start spluttering, um, you can take them off of the heat. So then we're going to put that in a mortar add some black pepper and then crush them until they are fine. Now that our yam pieces are cooked, we are going to uh, mash them. If you have a ricer, you can use that. I don't have a ricer, so I used a fork to um, break down the yam into smaller pieces or to mash them. Now you want to do this while the yam is still hot so that when you add your butter it melts pretty quickly. And while you're mashing you're also going to be adding some milk to get the mash very nice and fluffy and buttery and light. If you have a grater you could probably use that as well. It will also break down the yam into smaller pieces or into mash. Then we're going to add our spices that we've crushed and then give that a good mix as well. You can taste for salt at this point but I salted the yam while it was boiling and I also used salted butter so the salt may just be enough. I also added a bit of grated nutmeg, which is also a really nice flavor that complements the yam pretty well. And so there we have it, our mash is ready to be formed. So before you even put your hands in there, please make sure that you've washed your hands. You should be washing your hands before you start cooking anyway, but just a reminder, please, please wash your hands before you start touching the mashed yam. If you're not comfortable using your hands, you can obviously also use gloves, but I've washed my hands, so I'm, I'm pretty comfortable using them. Once you've formed your balls, you're going to make a hole with your thumb in the center and then try and widen out the walls like you see right now. Our filling has to go in there so you want to make the hole as, as deep as possible. But you also want to make sure that the yam, the sides of the yam are not, are not falling apart and that everything is pretty compact. Now this is a bit of a fiddly job but just patience, with patience and love, you can conquer anything. So we are adding our filling. And I basically made this filling from some pulled beef that I had. I added some onions, some bell peppers, black and white pepper and then made that into a sauce and then thickened up with some cornstarch. Just 
check the sides, check for any cracks, and, and then just try and close them up. I mean, the filling is not too runny, so even if there's a slight crack, it's not going to run out or ooze out like, like an egg yolk would. But then you just want it to be nice and, and compact. So we're checking that to make sure. So I have a love and hate relationship with the yam. I love fried yam, but I hate boiled yam. And the reason I hate boiled yam is because I actually didn't like it when I was younger. I found it too dry and boring. And I mean, I, I just, it just wasn't my favorite. I mean, I still eat it, but it's not one of my favorite things. And so we're going to repeat that for the rest of our balls. And there you have it, we have four beautiful looking patties. So the final stage in this recipe is to pan fry the patties. Remember that everything is already cooked, so all we're trying to do is get some color on the patties and get some crunch on the patties. While you're frying this, you have got to be careful. The patties are quite delicate. And so if you're rushing and not taking your time, they will break apart. So take your time, nice and gentle. And you can already see the beautiful golden brown color on, on, on those. You can find the full recipe on gingerandseasalt.com if you want to try this. And the aroma coming out of this kitchen. Mm. And so there you have it, four patties filled with pulled beef. You can have that as a main, you can have that as a side. It's pretty much up to you. You can make these smaller, but just think of the work that it involves. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and happy eating!